Here's a quick video just to show one symptom that uh, this particular Mega Drive has. Turn it on, light comes on, perfect. However, jiggle the cable, dies. Let's see if I can get both in the frame. Gone. Power it back on, it's good again. Bump the cable, you lose it. So I had a quick look and uh, what's happening is the uh, DC in socket has actually come desoldered, cracked, it needs to be resoldered. See if I can get it on video here, yeah? just let's try the manual focus. See that there, the uh, the back pin there, sold is actually cracked. Two side ones are okay, they follow that track and go to whatever those things are, but that, that one there, center pin, it's got some problems. Let's see if we can get it to move. Oh yeah, you see that? Probably didn't. Neither did I. But that seems to be the problem, so I'm just going to give that a bit of a solder up and we should be good as new. Uh, which is quite good because this uh, model is, unit is actually in quite good condition. So let's get to the soldering station. Here we are at the soldering station. Some of you may have one of these in your house. It, uh, it's strange. It's got a soldering iron, but it's also got strange appliances like an oven and a toasted sandwich maker and a milkshake machine, as well as some random hard drives. So let's have a look here. This sort of soldering is pretty simple. Um, look at that. This camera is beautiful. Just beautiful. This stand is not. So there we have it, right there. So the trick to soldering is to, well, two things. Oh, I don't have a sponge. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Sponge is good for uh, cleaning the tip of the soldering iron, keeps it in good health. It keeps dirt out of it as well, but I have no idea where it ended up. So all you do is, Get your solder, this particular is 6040, and your soldering iron, this one's a 40 watt, doesn't really matter, we're not applying that much heat, and just heat, which will reflow the solder, and by adding new solder, it makes it nice and shiny. Look at that. Beautiful. While you're there, you might as well do the other joints. Never really hurts. Freshen up some solder. Make it a bit stronger. Make it last a little longer. I could have been a nursery rhyme creator. They wouldn't let me. I've probably put too much solder on there, but that's how you do it. Relatively simple. And uh, fingers crossed, the uh, Mega Drive should now work perfectly. Better switch back over there to the game station. So we're back at the game station with the uh, Mega Drive all hooked in again. It's turning on. Look at that. No worries there. And that's how you do it. I had to replace one of those on a Nomad as well. Um, pretty sure I made some videos on it. But uh, the Nomad uses the same jack as the uh, Mega Drive 2s. Um, with the yellow, use a yellow tip power adapter. Uh, is it positive, positive center or? I think it's positive center. 
And uh, it was damaged, which I guess isn't surprising because Nomads are notorious for bad battery life. And uh, we have it plugged in all the time. It's bound to get dropped, bounce across the floor, and the, uh, the jack snap. Thankfully, I had a dead Mega Drive 2, which now resides behind me. And switch. There it is. Dead Mega Drive 2. The one at the back is the case for this one, it's in very good condition. Also got my broken Mortal Kombat 2. Some cheesy garlic bread from lunch. Mmm. And a watering can. But, that aside, hopefully the system will live on a bit longer. Great music in this game. Thanks for watching. See retrojunkie.net for more.